hello guys welcome to my new tutorial today we will learn how we can make these steps of pop out uh, manipulation effect in photoshop so let's get started uh, this is the two photo one the iphone 3d photos and uh, this the kangaroo photos um, both photos are downloaded from unsplash i will give the link in my description so you can go further for it okay so second first select quick selection tool then um, select select subject uh, photoshop do a brilliant work selecting the subject so you can see here the main subject is selected so now go to paint tool and now we will select our surface okay. we really don't know in which part we need it so for the ice cream so just make it if you make anything wrong then it will change its shoulder make as much as possible to make perfect selection okay sorry so here it is now give these and make selections add to the selection okay now this is here Okay, then a little bit zoom whether there is any kind of problem or not. I think this site is perfect. Okay. Because uh, this upper side will be the pop out, so we have to make it as much perfect we can. Okay. much perfect we can create a mask here so that's the thing if you think that if you need more correction then you can go the select and press shift and select and mask so we can make it more perfect but i think we don't need it now okay now go to the phone section and here we will make a selection I will make it 
much profit we can do okay here you see the this side is left so what we can do we can just make selection okay new selection here's the session that okay then go to edit go to transform and go to work okay connect now you can uh, fill it by pressing this side corner side you can see and this is now shifting Yes, now it's okay. Now we can play the mask sign and press Ctrl I to inverse. Okay, here's it. Now we go to the second one and select this picture and drop it here. Okay, now this picture is little too wide. Press Ctrl T so we can resize it and press Shift so when dragging it up and down so you can uh, so the resizing is not in your problem at all and then maybe zoom it and zoom up as much as even possible okay now make this layer to the below the first pop up layer first iphone pop up layer so yes the iphone screen is here but we need to okay we need this two kangaroo in the middle and his own physical structure also so we have to make it in the middle section mm, yeah so yeah I guess it's okay now. Okay, now press Ctrl and select the mask. Okay, then press this and go to the brush. Your foreground color will be white and background color must be black. Then let him hit the zoom and sorry. Press X and make your foreground color black. Okay, now make your brush size a bigger by pressing the third bracket. So you can see we fire in our two kangaroo pop up kangaroo. So yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So that's it. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Okay. Now here, press the clone stem tool. Okay. So now we have to fill it out. The where the there is no change here. So okay. So press Alt here. Okay, and now press this mask tool of the kangaroo and click Alt. Okay, there. 
and now we fill the blank space. You can make it just take time so you can make it as much perfect as you can. Now you see, we fill the whole section here. Yeah. Next to the complete. Now we create a new layer and make it forward and choose the brush and the foreground color will be black we have to make a uh, shadow so it look much more realistic okay. don't worry about that then go to overlay and make the capacity around 30 134%. Now I can color a little bit more here and here. Much, much, much more now we will go to level a little bit slide here yeah. then use curves YouTube will make saturations. Okay. Now we will go to color lookup. Okay, there is it. And we will choose Fuji Itna 250D Kada 2395 by Adobe. Okay, here is our last pick. So you can see how we can do it. This type of thing. So, this is the tutorial. I hope so. You will like it. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. So, it gives me inspiration to make this type of video much more. And please support me, guys. Okay, see you to my next tutorial. Thank you.